There has been an awful lot going on in the Westlands or Randland or whatever you like to call it. We have made a ton of improvements. So we're going to go through those one by one, as well as uh, link to some tutorials I've made if you're interested in adding these features for your own game. Let's have a look. All right, let's start out by having a look at our day night cycle. We can't have day and night without time. So the first thing I did was set up a simple script to handle our time. Uh, and it looks a little something like this. Once we've established you know, that time schedule, then we can actually work on uh, our canvas modulate, which is the, the node that we're gonna use to actually create that sense of darkness. So it's a very simple script. We just create a new scene with a canvas modulate, jump in a little bit of code um, and I'll link to the uh, tutorial where I go through this whole thing uh, in the description. Well, once you have day and night, you can have light and shadow. So we use point light 2Ds to create a series of street lights. Um, and then we also, you know, enabled shadows and things as well as light occluded 2Ds for the um, items like the player. And uh, if you're interested in how to do that, um, I'll link to the, uh, the tutorial that I made for it somewhere in the description. I expanded our global time script to allow for some weather and uh, we've just added in a really basic way of adding rain to our scene with uh, some random variables for when it starts and how long it goes for and things like that. Again, there is a tutorial for this that you can follow if you're interested in adding it to your game. Now in our last video, I showed you that we had established our Two Rivers Woodsman Guild, but we hadn't really done much with it. So we've got this uh, sign up screen when we go and visit Tam. I do urge you not to look too closely at the image. It was AI generated and it seems like it has no idea how a bow and arrow should be held, but let's just ignore that for now. Um, so we come in uh, to Tam's house and we can go and approach him. And then basically if we're, if we are already level 10, we get the opportunity to join the guild and then we uh, get access to some skills as as we increase our level. Just a very quick look at the script there for how I've established that guild. And I haven't made a tutorial yet for the guilds because it is quite cumbersome, but I will get to it soon. Just a little bit of info there about how we actually join the guild and all that sort of stuff and then fetching those abilities. And um, we're also checking to make sure we're the right level and all that as well. And here's where the far more fun bits of the guild are. So our ability. So our first ability that we get is precise aim, which actually costs 20 mana, but it also um, increases the player's attack power for a certain period of time. And our next ability is called scout ahead, which just speeds up our player by three times for a period of time. And the last one I've made so far is just a simple healing one. So I've called it Bind Wounds um, and that costs 20 mana, but increases player's health by 100. The issue that I'm facing at the moment is probably just that I have crammed way too much into this global script. So one of the things I'm going to do before the next update is split out all of the guild gear into its own um, set of scripts because this is a bit ridiculous. If you imagine after I add in a few more guilds and a few more abilities, we're going to have a million pages of, uh, of code there. So we're going to um, streamline that. That's the main issue I just need to overcome in the short term to make life easier in the long run. Beyond just tidying up the global script, I'm also going to be working on our Aes Sedai guild. So that's kind of uh, one of the next big steps in our next update. So I hope you hang around um, the channel to, to get those updates. Um, please give us a like and a subscribe. Um, lots of plans for this little game. Hopefully uh, it's something that I can put out on Git soon. So anyone and everyone can build on their very own uh, Wheel of Time ARPG. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.